You know, if you pay attention to the news right now, what you're going to hear is mainly about the disaster in Haiti, which is so, so true. However, there are miracles happening, and I'm going to share a few because, and the reason I'm going to share these right now is because I want you to know your prayers are working. You know, when, when, when the earthquakes first hit several days ago, we put out a YouTube video saying, please pray, please pray, and pass this on. Well, we're sending another one. We're going to do a little praise prayer to God at the end of this video. We hope that you'll join us. But most importantly, I want to let you know that it's working. Your prayers are working. I'm All Faiths Minister David Essel, and I want to be one of the millions of people telling you you're doing an awesome job. I mean, the amount of donations of food and clothing, the amount of donations from countries is unbelievable. It's all miracles, baby. It is all miracles of God. I trust, trust me. I know that this is true. The response is so pure human. It proves the concept of oneness. We are all one. Humanity is banding together. This is a miracle. This is beautiful. Now, you're going to hear some leaders from all walks of life are saying that this is bad and that is bad and the recovery is bad and the way that it's being handled is bad and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to tell you this, remind you what Buddha said. We'll be, we become what we think about all day long. Let's focus on the miracles. Let's focus on what you're doing through your prayers and your donations that actually is working. Check this out. You probably heard this story already, but this is one of the miracles I want to share. There was a, a young couple in, in Haiti where that the woman was killed in the home. The husband saw the woman killed, fall, a falling wall, crushed her immediately dead. They had a 15-day-old son. He was in such trauma, the son got hit in the head and needed immediate medical care that the grandfather took the 15-day, 15 15-day-old 15 son and started aimlessly walking the streets and he was in shock, trying to find help, screaming for help. Who did he run into a half a mile from the house? One of the only neurosurgeons in Haiti. One of the only neurosurgeons. I mean, that was a gift, a beautiful miracle. Miracle number one. Miracle number two, they were telling a story, and I'm just resharing what I've seen on CNN and some of the other major networks. They were sharing a story about a young girl that was trapped and that they had a saw, but all they had was like a bunch of small, short electrical cords to try to plug it into an outlet. Now, several friends of mine who are involved with electronics said it never should have worked. The, the saw was too big and powerful to be fueled, to be turned on by this tiny little electric source, and with all these connectors together, all these electrical extension cords together, and somehow it worked and they got her out. I mean, the miracles are continuing. The miracles that humanity has bonded together. All of this is a miracle. And I'm going to ask you to please stay focused on the miracles that are happening. Yes, there's devastation. Yes, there's sadness. Yes, there's loss. Yes, there's death. Yes, all of that is true. And in the middle of it all is the hand of God. In the middle of it all, let's praise God. Praise God for what is working. Praise God for the union of humanity. Praise God for the union of the countries of this world. Praise God for the faith that we have that more good will come out of this. Praise God. Amen. Can I get an amen? We are here to praise God. And if we continue to do this, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see even more miracles happening. If we expect more miracles and pray for more miracles, I promise you more and more miracles will still happen. They really will. If I can help you in any way whatsoever, it's talkdavid.com. And I'm going to ask you to take this little video, spread it all over the world, send it to as many of your friends as you can. Praise God, baby. Praise God for helping us. And let's, when we, when we shut this off right now, take 60 seconds out of your day, close your eyes, and pray to God to continue to allow the miracles to happen. I thank you so much. I'm All Faith Minister David Essel here with you if I can help in any way whatsoever. Praise God.